with Miss Co. Hey guys, Miss Ko here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own konobori, which is to celebrate Kodobo no Hi, which is Children's Day. If you want to check it out, then keep on watching. Did you know that in some countries, May 5th is Children's Day? On this day, we celebrate children. Some countries have special foods, traditions, and gifts. Konobori, meaning carp streamer in Japanese, are carp-shaped wind socks traditionally flown in Japan to celebrate Children's Day. Konobori represents family members and the happiness of children. The konobori are flown above the roof of a house with children in it. Materials you need? Paper, scissors, tape or glue, string, something to color with, and tissue paper which is optional. Let's get started! The very first thing you want to do is make a fold on your paper. This is going to be a hot dog fold and you're going to fold it directly in the center. Make a nice sharp crease. And once you have that done, you want to make sure that the fold of your paper is at the top pointed away from you. And on this part of our paper, we're going to take our finger and we're going to line it up with the edge of the paper. We're going to make a line going halfway down our paper. Once you have that, we're going to make the fin. The way I like to describe this shape is like a long diagonal J, and this is going to go towards the middle of your paper. Once you have that down, you're going to make another arch going down, and you're going to stop and leave enough room for your tail at the very end. And for the tail, you may do whatever shape you'd like. I'm going to make it kind of like a mermaid tail, and this is just going to be two points, kind of like a football lemon shape. Make sure you connect the tail to the bottom of your paper where the fold is. You just need to make a curved line going down to do this. Let's cut. When you're cutting your fish out, please make sure that you cut both pieces at the same time. This is going to make sure that our fish is symmetrical. And once you open it up, it should look something like this. Once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and take your fish, open it all the way up. And you're going to flip it so that all the lines that we drew are hidden on the inside. Let's draw in color. I'm going to make a line going down from my tabs just so I could be able to differentiate where the mouth is going to be. You don't want to decorate this part too much because it is going to be folded and pasted together. tape or glue. So something optional I did is add glitter to my fish. I'm not sure if this is a good choice because it did get everywhere, but this is something optional that you may do. So I'm going to go ahead and get where the tabs are and fold these over one another and I'm going to tape it down with just a piece of tape. Next I'm going to get my tissue paper and I just cut it into thin strips and I'm going to layer them on top of one another. and I'm going to tape all the pieces together and tape it down. Put it inside where the tail is. Once that's done, I'm going to tape my tails together. Please make sure to add a hole in the front where the mouth is so that we could put the string through. I used a hole puncher, but if you don't have one, you may just use your pencil to poke it through. I'm going to get my yarn and you may use any type of string you have. If you don't have string, you could use ribbon or even a rubber band. And I'm going to put it through the hole and I'm going to make sure both ends are in the inside of my fish's mouth. And then I'm just going to tie a knot to finish it off. And that is it. Here is our konobori and you could go ahead and hang this up outside your house or on a window. It's going to be super pretty when it blows in the wind. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Please let me know if you guys made one yourself. I would love to see it. Thanks, and make sure to subscribe to see more fun videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!